Hello everyone and welcome to Coder Arts. In this video, I will be talking about how can you set up models in your past project which are available on Hugging Face websites like OpenAI GPT-2 model, Meta Llama model, etc. So first, take a quick overview. I have already created a web application that generates text using a model from OpenAI called GPT-2 which is available on the Hugging Face website. Before going ahead, who don't know what is Hugging Face, I want to tell you that Hugging Face is an AI community hub that provides tools and resources for building and collaborating on machine learning projects. It's known for its vast collection of open source models and datasets facilitating innovation in AI. Hugging Face is also offering open source models for various tasks like text generation, text classification, object detection, image to text conversion, and many more. You can sort model based on the popularity or downloads, and you can check here when they were last updated. Now let's dive into how we can implement these models to create a web applications. I have already set up a simple web application for these demonstrations. I started by creating a folder, setting its path and then creating virtual environment within it, which I activated. Inside this folder, I created a python files named app.py. In app.py, we start by importing flask which is our web framework and pipeline from the transformers library, which will help us use the GPT-2 model for text generation. We then create an instance of the Flask class. This instance becomes a web application. And next, we initialize our text generation pipeline with GPT-2. This lens of code loads the pre-trained GPT-2 model and sets it up to generate text. Then we define a root. This tells Flask that whenever a web request comes in for the root URL, it should call the fun home function. And inside the home function, we check if the request method is posed, which means the user has submitted data through the form. We then capture the user's prompt from the form data. We pass this prompt to our generator, which uses the model to generate a piece of text. Here, I have set the maximum length to 300, which will generate text up to 300 words. And finally, we use render template to render the index.html page, passing the generated text so it can be displayed to the users. Now let's moving on the index.html. This is where we design the user interface of our web application. The HTML file contains a form elements with the text area for users to input their prompts and submit button to send their request to the server. When the user clicks generate, the form data is sent over web Flask app, triggering the post request. This HTML file also includes a script that prevents the default form submission. Instadate uses a JavaScript uh, fish function to send the form data asynchronously and update the page with the generated text without reloading. This creates a seamless experience for the users as they can generate and view new next without interruptions or delay. So using this code, you can apply this style to multiple HTML pages, maintaining consistency in design and saving times. Additionally, if you want to change the styles later, all you need to do is update the style.css files, which will apply the changes to all pages. To run the app, execute Python dash m flask run in your terminal. Then visit this URL. Here enter prompt and click generate to see the generated text. In this video, we have seen how to use the models available on Hugging Face to create our own text generation app. You can experiment with other models as well. Here the code provided will help you integrate any model into your projects. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video with the next topic. Thank you.